Good morning. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn. So good morning and welcome to Breaking Dawn this morning. My name is Stefan Reese. I'll be with you until uh, 8 o'clock. It is Friday morning. We're at the end of yet another week, Friday, April 5th, which means we got 23 days left. All right, 23 and 5 is 28, right? Nice. Last time I checked my mathematics. Okay, because you know, arithmetic in Trinidad kind of different depending on who it is running the class, eh? You know what I mean? Some people just make 1 plus 1 equal 5. But 5 plus 23 is 28. Last time I checked, Ron Stefan Ron is the 28th of April. We've got 23 more days to go. You've got 23 days or just about three weeks to register. All right. Good morning to the regional viewers, everybody watching us internationally, everybody on social media. Good morning to you. I have one. Um, remember the young man that came through with his brand? Um, his t shirt. Yeah, I have on his t shirt again this morning. Yeah. Nice man. Good vibes. Um, and it fits well. It fits perfect, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he real average my size, boy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'll tell you what, Chef Shiraz is here. I see salmon on the table. So we have some breakfast, including salmon this morning. S salmon. S is for salmon, kids. Yes, it is. All right, and I see, um, what, I don't know what else he has here, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. Um... You want to get into the news day and for those of you who were following the news yesterday you would see that central bank is going to release a new hundred dollar bill i want your thoughts on that everybody was like what but we just change over the money who does that who does that who changes money like like, like faster than the change in the underwear who does that Who does that? No, seriously, I want to know who does that. Yeah. Who you know that? Who you any any country in the world does do that? Yeah. Change up the change the currency so 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 often. How much fifty dollar bills we had? Yeah, and it's the same amount of change. But yeah, <laughs> save hundred. You might have a change hundred. Do you say you can't save? Yeah, I remember you can't save nothing in this place, you know. Save? Where you go save, chef? Oh, people go shit. Ah, they had to save themselves. <laughs> that is what they had to save, themselves. So, front page of the paper, take draconian measures against gangs. On page five. Millions lost in Chagonas, arson attack, car dealer firebombed. I wonder if there's an extortion thing. We're going to find out. Let me find out. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. You know the vibes? Um, Chris, you had footage of that yesterday and that we didn't get to hear. Yeah, yeah. All right, so arsonist firebombed the compound of HSM Motors in Chase Village in Chagonas before dawn on Thursday, resulting in millions of dollars of damage and many people condemning the malicious act. HSM CEO Mikhail Hussein said around 15 vehicles of different models, including a Tesla car, were completely burnt, and the blaze also damaged two buildings. And he went on to say, quote, we have no idea why someone did this. Our guess is as good as yours. We are surprised. We are shocked. We are appalled, Hussein told Newsday, as he looked at some of the burnt out shells. That's very interesting. So, well, it didn't have no extortion thing. Yeah, because he confused and all. I mean, if it was extortion, because we know extortion has been um, on the front line 
for a while now, as it relates to business people, you know, being threatened by, by gangs and so on and so forth. If you don't pay up, you go do this, we go do X. Right? So it didn't look like anything like that. Now, um, apart from the auto company at the front, the compound also comprised an agricultural division at the back. And Hussein said he had not yet seen the CCTV footage of the attack, but from what he was told three men entered the compound at around 3 a.m. and tossed 11 Molotov co cocktails at different places. At the time, the two security guards were on the compound. Sleeping? <laughs> well, how'd it be? Three men come on the compound and launch 11. No, 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 let, let, let me do some maths here, right? These three men have six hands. Yes? Two hands per person. We're just doing some maths here, right? So the three men that come onto the compound that launch 11 Molotov cocktails, 11. We're doing some maths, we're matching. So they have six hands and they have 11 cocktails. Each hand holding one cocktail. So they have six cocktails at any one time. Which means they have to launch and then reload. At least once they have to reload, right? Right. So they have two security guards on the compound. What were they doing? I would love to know. They had to be sleeping 3 a.m. in the morning. 3 a.m. in the morning, security guards are probably sleeping. They're taking a five. I don't, I don't think I know any security guard at 3 a.m. in the morning that up and real sharp looking out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. 3 a.m. in the morning, boy, nothing to happen here, you know? Rock back, so. Uh, snoring in the back of the building you know what i mean but hopefully um it's a serious issue but um hopefully they get they get these um these arsonists you know what i mean and 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 they pay they pay the consequences of their for the actions page five of the newsday murder victims relative says take draconian measures against gangs a relative of a 17-year-old boy who was killed in Malik Barataria says it is time the authorities take extreme measures to deal with gangs. At around 10.35 p.m. on Wednesday, DeAndre Hercules was sitting in the gallery of his home on Upper 6th Avenue with a female relative when a man in dark clothing and a mask approached them. The man pointed a gun at them and told them not to move. The female relative ran off and neighbors reported hearing gunshots moments later. Hercules family um, then found him on the ground in the gallery with gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead on the scene. Now, speaking with the media at the Forensic Science Center in St. James, his family was inconsolable as they said they could not understand why he had been targeted. The relative said Hercules was his mother's only child and was never involved in any gang activity. He said Hercules, who was studying to become a certified electrician, was skilled with his hands and already capable of fixing air conditioners and refrigerators. I wait and I commentate, you know. He had his whole life ahead of him. The relative said gang warfare in Malik was spiraling out of control. You see, they say you have a man warring a man four streets away. That don't make sense. They're killing one another. So now, now, draconian measures need to be taken, right? Now here's my thing. Condolences going out to the family and everything like that, right? And one could only, some people, some people could only imagine what you're going through in the loss of your loved one. This, but this is the problem. Haven't I been saying this for the longest while? He who knows it feels it, right? And in Trinidad and Tobago, and other parts of the world, you all see 600 and something murders year before. 
right? You saw that. That's what we recorded. Record breaking. We didn't do too much better in 2023. Where were the calls then for draconian measures to be taken against guns? You see, we just only make those calls and come out and say it when it happens to us. That's the reality of the situation. You understand? You know it have gang wars in the area. You know one man going with our next man four streets away and all, all the things that you know. But, but what we just doing about it? Hmm? And there are people in the house saying, no, I'm right now. They're quiet, they're silent. Yeah. But when it reach home by you, and the media come and see you by Forensic Science Centre, you know, it's the first thing you'll say, this gang thing out of control, and we need to do this and we need to do that. But if I organize a march tomorrow, calling for the head of Fitzgerald Lines, all in coming out. You understand where I'm coming from, Chef? You understand? All who making excuses and all kind of thing. Well, I can't come out that day, you know, because you see that day, that day I have a thing on, and then, 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 and then everybody just make excuses. That is all people is do. Make excuse after excuse after excuse. You know, the El Salvador president, when he was re-elected in February, gave a speech. We go run that in the second hour. I want to run that. Because I want, I want to let her feel it now, to feel the vibes. Because he said a lot of things inside of there that I think you could relate to in Trinidad and Tobago. And if you didn't hear that speech, you should. I like him. I like his vibes. And keep in mind what he did in El Salvador. Eh? He made a decision, well, here we're going on. Be grabbing anybody. Once you are gang tattoos, once you're a member of a gang, once you be putting you in a jail. We just pick, they just pass, pick them up and grab them and put it. And now El Salvador, is one of the safest places in the world. They're going from one of the most dangerous places, one of the safest places. Cause you know why? He had the corners to do what is necessary. Not like these clones and them running around the place pretending to be leaders. That's what you have, you know. Pretenders to the throne. Pretenders. You understand? Unidentified body found in Federation Park. Coover fire victim still alive. Two beehives removed from Palmis Park. Imbut extends TT Revenue Authority deadline again. Only, only wait. Foreign Affairs Minister reminds Venezuela CARICOM united behind Guyana. Your oh Lord. Police arrest woman over child uh, over children abuse video. Guyalin. Mom held kids in care. That is the video with the, with the woman roughing up the two children. That woman, Yana. Something wrong with that woman. And, and unfortunately, that's the kind of people that make children. No, seriously. People who are ment serious mental issues and people don't know. Something wrong with that woman. And I in line in that video. I was telling the editor in the three minutes and eleven seconds of that video with that woman going back and forth to the next girl, I con them using they, they, they use either the F word or the mother word. Right? They use two cuss words 44 times in three minutes and eleven seconds. I con 44. So I just tell them mute. Mute the video, it don't make no sense trying to audio edit that. Because every minute it will be beep, 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 beep. No. Yeah, it will be like a. If he, if, if he bleep, if he try to audio edit that, bleeping that, it's like a, it will be like an ambulance to none the siren coming down Africa Avenue. I'm telling you, you will be sitting in your house this morning and, and you ain't driving a car, you know, but you're looking to pull aside. Because the amount of bleep you go here. So it don't make no sense. So we just mute the video. And talking about sirens, we have a video from Trini Driver as well with some police on the highway that pull over a vehicle. And boy, you know, it, I, we are lots to get through. Fishermen to present oil spill loss report to Chief Secretary next week. 
Lumpkin says Chuta supports no political party. Okay. <laughs> no, no, everybody does say they don't support something. <laughs> everybody does frightened to say what they support and who they support. You understand what I'm saying? And that's and that's you see that's all that is the first start of, of, of problems that will continue in the country. As long as you sit down there and you are afraid to speak your mind or share your opinion because of fear for other people's thoughts about you, look at me clearly. Look at me, look at me, look at me good. Right? I say what I have to say, how I have to say it, when I have to say it, and I do not care. <laughs> I'm telling you, I do not care what other, op other people's opinion of me is based on my opinion on issues. It's my opinion. You could have yours. I don't judge you for having yours. We could debate. We could have constructive conversations, everything like that. But I am not going to be intimidated by somebody's thoughts or impression of who I am or what I am or, or any thought on me based on my opinion on a, on, 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 a, on a subject matter. You understand? Central Bank to issue new 100 polymer notes. We'll talk about that just now. Ferry Company um, says crew not abandoned at sea. APT James and Bukuri ferries end dry dock. Maritime companies team up on connectivity. And those are some of the headlines in the paper this morning. I see Manchester United fans had another disappointment yesterday, beaten 4-3 by Chelsea. You know, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to feel it for them, eh, but, you know, you lose 4-3 to Chelsea and then Liverpool coming into Old Trafford this weekend. <laughs> and it didn't go be like the FA Cup, eh? It didn't have no extra time. All the calm down. All right? So, we are at the top of the table and, and we're coming into Old Trafford this weekend for, and we're we hunting for three points. And, I, and I'm telling the United fans right now, I hear plenty of them balling, oh God, but I can't take it no more. Chelsea beat me for three and there. But when all them beat Liverpool, you know, I get phone calls and voice notes. You know when, you know when, you know when a team, bring in Chef now, let me talk to him quick. You know when your team's suffering so for so long, Right? That they finally get that one result and, and it's against the arch rival. Eh? They beat me in extra time in, in, in the FA Cup when I had a depleted squad. Right? We, we, we had real injuries. We had young players that, that we had to call on. We just didn't have the energy in the, in the last, you know, although we went up and thing and we just had to hold the lead for a few, a few moments again. We, we falter. We beat ourselves. United didn't really beat us that day. We beat ourselves, right? We threw away the game. Nice but they were so overjoyed. But it was a good game, right? Here now, they start a call, thing, bam. You know, in, in the lowest point, I, I, I don't get them no talk, you know. Because I know that there was a time Liverpool was running sixth and seventh in the English Premier League. So, and we wasn't making Champions League and things. So I just kind of, you know, because I know the big clubs is bounce back eventually. But boy, you know, the amount of talk I get for that FA Cup loss to United. And I feel it, eh? I do like to lose to Manchester United. But as a Liverpool fan, you would never like to lose to Manchester United. But I want to tell Anil Roberts, Gary Griffith, Brian Big, and Duvon Stewart this morning. And my boy still in the heart too. All the United fans. We coming into Old Trafford this weekend. And I had a dream last night that Ole get nine. But I know it's not realistic. The score was 9-1. 9-1, 9-1. Ten goals scored in the game, yeah. Old Trafford was in a mess. But you know, because that, that would have been like the third time we, 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 we just d destroy them in their own backyard. But I know that's not realistic, nine goals. I don't think we'll score that. But if we do, I know Ole will remember me on Monday morning. Um, chef, what we have for breakfast this morning? Good morning, Chantelier. Good morning, Sanjay family. Good morning to the world. Um, I have a friend who took his son this week to, to Anfield. Yeah, his son the is a... The greatest big, football stadium in the world. A, his son Go is ahead. a huge Liverpool fan, and I think he did good in some exams and some, yeah. some awards, so he took him up. We saw the footage he sent. 
But the sun in the crowd and the chain on the, the Liverpool, right. and, you know. But you know, I can't. And if, <laughs> you can't relate because you're a, you're, you can't relate <laughs> because you're a City fan. You understand? He's a Manchester City fan. You understand? But 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 your, your, is a nephew? Yeah. But your nephew will tell you Anfield is the greatest football stadium in the world. The greatest atmosphere. They say Anfield is like the 12th man on the field. You understand? Anfield is a spirit. Yeah, that's true. I'm telling you, my, when I take vacation, I was supposed to take a vacation last year, I ain't take none. We come into this year, no, I ain't. I ain't uh, but whenever I do decide that, that you know, yeah, I'm yeah, good no, management, good. a little it's notification, good. saying yeah. I'm taking a little month or two, or I, two I must weeks. say the atmosphere there is good, eh? The, go this up. kind of atmosphere? I want to go and feel. Yeah, I had to go, on, I had to go and feel. Before I did, I had to go and feel and sit down and watch a game, boy. I'm I telling you. Yeah, I haven't gone to theaters yet. But yeah. I, go, but I went to Wembley, and the Wembley atmosphere was really something. Else. Yeah. Totally now I had to go, I had to go, I had to go. I had to go. I'm uh, sorry, I have to go. Yeah. I have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, and feel. I could I could go in my in in, in my box and they go put me six feet in, in the ground <laughs> and I never went that. No 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 I take time off for nice that one. one. Uh, sorry. Nice, nice. Maybe when the season starts back, um because it's coming to the end now. Yeah. Um either later this year or, or maybe after Carnival next year, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will take a little a little trip and, and go and yeah, watch a little game God's Spare Life, you know what nice, I mean? Man. So it's salmon. Yeah, so we're making some, some um, we're making some some crepes. Or crepes, or crepes, as we want to call it. And crepes or crepes are really like a, um, really like a French tin pancake, really. All right. Right, so, that, so we have some smoked salmon. Oh, God, you know we keep it healthy. I know you're getting ready for run, stuff on run. Yeah, 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 well. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. I will be there. I, will, I don't know if I might run. I don't want to run and pass everybody. So what I'll do, I'll just walk. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think I can see you running past the trees around the Savannah, but go ahead. So I'll, I'll come this Sunday morning, go as well, and I'll walk it, right? I don't know, that's... Yeah, you know, come on, walk, Plus, you have any good prizes and cash on it, right? So I don't want to interfere with that. Let right. the other people come and sort it Yeah, you ain't want no prize. You, you ain't want no prize. You yeah, just come yeah. in and support the cause. And yeah. I don't even want to win the trip as well. I see, I see Dr. Nadia say she will win the trip, but I said she... Dr. Watson? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I could just come, you know what I mean? Like, I hope we just do it. You yeah. I mean? <laughs> you just come through and yeah. So we're doing some um, smoked salmon. We have some nice flavored whipped cream cheese. Okay. Yes. Mm -mm. So we're going to make some crepes. We're going to put the smoked salmon. We're going to put a layer of nice whipped cream flavored cheese, cream cheese. And we do some eggs and we're going to wrap it. Yeah. And you know what? Seeing as the, this is something I always have eh, in, 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 in my fridge. I have some nice dates. Uh, uh, dates, boy. Right. So we just garnish it with our dates as well, too. All right, no problem, man. So we be keeping healthy as we get prepared for run stuff and run, man. All right, we're getting our good vibes on this morning. <laughs> and it's glad when you come to, to, to breakfast on a Friday because what has happened, you all may not know this, but anytime I go over my time, 8 o'clock, as apparently I'll sponsor the, the, the Master Control staff breakfast. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm safe this morning. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we're going over the time this morning. All right, so just before we go to the break, the Keolic Blood Pressure Formula 109, man. Uh, for that healthy blood pressure balance that you need, uh, you want to pick up a bottle of this um, blood pressure formula, and it's combined with that aged garlic extract. Yes, doctor developed using the quality assured Keolic garlic aging process. And this product will assist you in lowering your blood pressure and cholesterol levels also. Um, it will assist you in, in, in inhibiting the accumulation of soft, unstable plaque, enhancing circulation, supporting immune function, reducing the risk of gingivitis, and much more. So, it supports cardiovascular health, immune health, and gut health in a, um, more, in, in, in a better way than raw garlic, all right? Um, because it's odorless capsules, all right? Which makes it easier and more convenient to take. So, for more information on the product, you can call or WhatsApp 728 or you can pick it up at a leading pharmacy or health store nationwide and get your hands on it. So make sure and check it out. Also, we have um, Van Egmond. Van Egmond, that magic soil. You know, if Chef could have used this to cook, he'd have used it. But it's the magic soil for plants, Chef. It's for plants, for growing plants and stuff. All right, you can't cook with it. 
it is it is magic soil but but it can it nah all right so the magic soil for all plants, Freeport Agro Center, check them out opposite the Freeport Police Station. You can give them a call on 790-9247 or 496-4603. Make sure check them out. Go pick up that Van Egmond, the magic soil for all plants. We have Morelli. Morelli uh, Realty. We're talking excellence. We're talking Morelli. Company dominating the real estate industry with those effective charismatic marketing strategies and uh, when we talk in uh, Morelli Realty, this name is a name synonymous with trust, quality, and determination. So join them and embark on that journey to turn your real estate aspirations into a reality. Chef will be looking for a new house to buy at some point in time or the other. All right, he had to buy one for either his son or his daughter. So you're going to call Morelli, and he's going to use one of the numbers on the screen there, either Elysia, Teshona, Davion, um, Halima, you name it. You could call any one of those six numbers and they will hook you up. You can get more information from them on all the different properties that they have, either for rent or for sale um, or for purchase. So check them out on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, Morelli Realty. We also have Chef Shiraz. Chef Shiraz has the culinary arts and he's getting into some culinary arts this morning. And uh, the start date for this course is the 4th of May. It will end on the 27th of July. This is a 12-week course, Saturdays and Sundays, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Ram Singh Plaza in Shogonas. And there is a payment plan available, so make sure and give him a call. This is certified by the CTS College. And those numbers to call, 3724639 or 7375097. Do not wait because limited space is available. So make sure and make that call as early as possible and get registered um, for the Certificate in Culinary Arts course. There's a terrific um, career to, to, to jump into. You might even end up on TV. Who knows? Cooking for me. Yeah, that, that would mean you get fired, eh, chef, but I know. If the student becomes better than the teacher. Um, also, we got just now, fellas, let me just pull it up here. AJ Academic. Yeah. So, AJ Academic um, is saying to come and meet your match at the AJ Academic University Fair 2024. It will be on Saturday, April 13th at the Hilton Trinidad and Conference Center. Admission is absolutely free. All right, and uh, now this is from renowned international institutions in the UK, the US, Germany, Canada, Dubai, and Ireland to our very own local gems. And they've curated an educational lineup that promises to match your ambitions and aspirations perfectly. So this isn't just any fear, it's an immersive experience designed to empower students, parents, and professionals alike and to explore that cutting edge uh, programs covering 300 plus courses and gain real time advice on admission processes, um, immigration procedures, um, study, study abroad programs, and even and much more. So beyond uh, just boots and brochures, uh, sorry, boots and brochures, um, the fear is a hub of meaningful uh, connections and invaluable insights. You can meet esteemed dignitaries, influential establishment representatives, and industry experts who are ready to guide you on your academic journey. So you could also take advantage of exclusive offers, scholarships, and giveaways available only at the fair. Students and interested persons uh, will be able to visit the stands from 9 a.m. All right, and um, in the second hour, I'll give you some of the things that you need to be prepared with. but. This is the AJ Academic University Fair, and it is Saturday, April 13th at the Hilton Trinidad and Conference Center. Admission is absolutely free. And finally, we got Ron Stefan Run. Ron Stefan Run is on April 28th. Make sure and get yourself registered either online or through the walk-in registrations. You can register online on trinbegoevents.com. If you have any problems registering online, just call 482 Five five three one. That is four eight two five five three one. Or you could uh, register via the walk-in registration, cash registration, 
and uh, the location so that is Synergy TV between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. You could also register at Adams Optical in Chagonas and San Fernando. You could also register at the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago, which is located at Success Street in Chagonas. So make sure, get yourself registered. We got a $5,000 first prize, male and female winners. We have 30,000 in cash prizes that we're giving away. And we have a trip for two that some lucky person will win. A trip for two to Grenada, three nights, four days. And this trip is worth $10,000. It's courtesy Gigi's Travel. So make sure and get in a gear and get yourself registered because, listen, for your $200, you're getting back your goodie bag, your customized medal, your T-shirt. You're getting branded water bottles from what I understand. We have that um, on lock and I think that has been confirmed. Um, you also have the opportunity to win a cash prize. We have seven different age group categories. We want to thank all of our sponsors in the second hour. I will identify all of them. Um, in the meantime, we've got to take a break. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this. My name is Karma Maraj. As a lifelong entrepreneur, I often share the benefit of my experience with our young innovators and small businesses. Just as I strive to guide others, our constitution must also foster an environment for citizens to thrive. This begins with education catering to diverse learning styles and extends to establishing frameworks that support new enterprise. But are we doing enough? Constitutional reform needs your input by 15 April at constitutionalreform2024.gov.tt. It's your future, your constitution, your voice. Come down to Adams Optical where we offer free comprehensive eye exams and you can also get full single vision or bifocal glasses for only $5.95. We have a wide selection of frames and shades for everyone and we specialize in contact lens examination. Find us on Facebook or visit us in store. Adams Optical. Free electricity for your home and business. Are you tired of paying high electricity bills month after month for security cameras, power gates, lighting, appliances, entertainment, and air conditioning? Then call Solar Ready, the number one solar energy company to call in Trinidad and Tobago. They will show you how much money you can save each month on your electricity bill. Come and see how they can help you with your partial or complete transition from traditional electricity to solar power for your home and business. See why so many homes and business owners trust and depend and their professional staff to design and install a solar energy system to meet their energy needs. It's hot outside, cool inside. Get an affordable site visit to estimate what costs may be applied. Free quotes and assessments. Just contact Solar Ready at 333-2818 or visit their website at www.solarready.org. Situated at PTSC Transit Mall, Quasi San Juan. Green Dot continues to deliver internet connectivity to a wide range of communities in Trinidad. With our combination fiber and wireless network, you get the service you need wherever you live. Stream your favorite shows, enjoy online tuition, stay in touch with your work team, and connect with friends and family with internet service at a price you can afford. As communities continue to grow, we continue to deliver. Call 224-GDOT or visit gd.tt today. Green Dot, improving and simplifying lives. The Art of Reggae Musical Festival on Sunday, May 12th, starring Marsha Griffiths and Friends. I see the fire spreading. Freddie McGregor. I'm longing to see you. I want to know how. Talia Stevens. This is Signa. Itana. Kimani Marley. Davir. Lady G. Kotti Rang. Tony Gregory. Dwayne Stevenson. And special guest live performance with Christopher Ellis. Lots of other special guest artists performing live. The Arts of Reggae. Sunday, May 12th. At 5001 Flamingo Road in Miramar. Purchase tickets online now at caraptics.com. Forward slash Arts of Reggae. For more info, Marsha Griffiths and Friends at gmail.com. Griffiths and Friends on Sunday, May 12th, celebrating 60 years. And remember, 
Nuff Surprise Special Guest Artist. Don't miss it. Powered by the Art of Reggae Music Festival and I and I Radio. My parents' generation grew up with Royal Castle from the first restaurant in 1968 when that distinctive, tempting aroma hit the air. Like never before, fried chicken with a special blend of local seasonings and a one-of-a-kind flavor down to the bone. Today, Royal Castle still have that same delicious taste and I love it too. And the kids, they have more to enjoy. For me, the castle is more than just nice food. It's we own, part of me and you. And is the real flavor of TNT. Unlock the door on a global journey to invest in real estate in the United States. Introducing Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Their real estate experts will guide you through every step of buying, selling, leasing, and business sales, providing a seamless experience as you invest or relocate. Explore a diverse range of properties from beachfront, condos, luxury, residential, and commercial, and unlock the incredible opportunities the United States has to offer. Their affiliated companies provide property management, property insurance, financing, and so much more. So let them guide you through the process, ensuring a smoother transition. With offices conveniently located in South Florida, you can contact them today and let your international real estate adventure begin. Call them directly at 1-561-459-4361 or WhatsApp 1-561-574-2846. Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Offering respect, relationships and results. All runners for the biggest 5K event of 2024 with over $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a $5,000 first prize up for grabs and medals for all participants. And one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada worth $10,000 courtesy GG's Travel. Run, step on run, 5K and fun walk with part proceeds going to the Diabetes Association of TNT. Sunday, 28th April, warm up courtesy Empower Fitness at 6 a.m. Race starts at 6.30. 30 a.m. sharp at QRC. Register online at TrimbagoEvents.com or walk-in registration at Diabetes Association, Success Street in Chaguanas, Adams Optical, Chaguanas, and San Fernando, and Synergy TV, Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. For more info, go to Stephen Reese Production on Facebook or call 730-2588 or 482-5531. Sunday, April 28th. Compete, support sport, and support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Are you stressed and worried by problems? Then meet Priest Santoshji. Priest is specialized in palm, face, photo, date of birth reading and gives solutions to problems in marriage, relationship, love, business, job, health and removes all black magic, negativity, bad luck permanently and gives good luck and lifelong protection. Then call Priest Santoshji. 384 3844 That's 384 3844 Oh, we're back. All right. Yes, fellas. Oh, God, Lord Father. But let's get this thing right. All right, um, let's get cracking here eh, because we take up a lot of time there in the opening. Um, Central Bank. Well, you probably headline for me now with Central Bank. Lovely. So Central Bank will be unveiling this new $100 note. But forgive me and the rest of Trinidad and Tobago in trying to understand the purpose behind this. Because here we are changing our $100 note again. Uh, five years after the Polymer $100 banknote was launched, the central bank is planning to introduce the 2024 series of the note in December. Additionally, the specific plans for improving private sector pension regulations are expected to be operationalized. Now, these are among the main priorities of the central bank in 2024, which would focus on cybersecurity efficiency in a modernized payments system, wider adoption of fintech solutions have a serious issue. You see, fin that fintech, I have been doing some research on that for dating back to 2020 when the pandemic had started there, eh? but I'm going to stick up in that right now. And improving private sector pensions uh, supervision as outlined 
in its latest strategic plan. All right, now, they, they, they plan to introduce this 2024 series of the $100 bank note. Uh, the bank explained this note will be very similar to the current note, which is the 2019 series, while adding new security features. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's interesting? Well, I remember when they, they brought in, open your phone line now, 2355325. Let me take some calls from the people quickly. Um, because we're 20 minutes away from the hour of 7 o'clock. And I want to get to this woman who was arrested by the police. Because, amen, they, they move swiftly. Um, I remember when they got these new polymer notes, they said it couldn't be counterfeit. They, they, it can't counterfeit. Morning. Right, telling you. Who does that? Who changes their money? I mean, it's a 2024 series of, 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 of the note. But who does these things? I'm not hearing any caller. I'm not hearing any person. Two three five five three two five. Yeah, morning. Morning, Papa. Hello. Nothing. Nothing. Hello. Yeah. I remember that when they brought in these polymer notes, the, the, one of the big things was this could not, this cannot be counterfeited. It, they cannot counterfeit this. And then it took them a little while, and you started to see the notes being counterfeit notes in circulation you understand what i say now they want to bring this hundred dollar note to add security features right security features they say they're adding more security features into the 2024 series of the hundred dollar bank note but i do not know any other country that changes their or, or or comes up with these things for their for their money every minute so money that have no value anywhere else but in trinidad and tobago didn't anybody notify Central Bank that? Or they looking to unveil new hundred dollar note. Trinidad money have no value outside of Trinidad and Tobago. None whatsoever. No value. I wonder how much it's gonna cost. This new hundred dollar note. Eh, chef? Because you know that come with a cost, right? That gonna come with a course attached to it. Unveiling this new nonsense. Right? For money that would absolutely nothing outside of Trinidad and Tobago. You get your new hundred dollar note, Papi. You can't spend it in Barbados, Antigua, Guyana, Grenada, St. Vincent. You can't spend that money nowhere. Morning. Morning, Stefan. Yeah, man. Um this hundred dollar note, this isn't money should be changing, you know. You should be changing four things. It's four things we're supposed to be changing. And <laughs> Central Bank could help for we to change those four things I'm going to recommend Central Bank to the highest degree. It's Rowley, Young, Heinz, and Embroad. If we could change those four, those four, uh, those four persons or people, how you may call them, I didn't want to call them down soon, they might come oh, back. Okay. You understand I me? Mean? Those are the things we have to change. What is yeah, wrong with Central yeah, Bank? Yeah. yeah. All you right. You understand what I mean? Have a nice day. Yeah. But, but the financial sector needs so many changes. This is the only thing Ole can come up with, a hundred dollar note. Look now, man. Morning. 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 Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. We take any calls. Patch them through. Hello, morning. Okay, we're going again. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. You understand? And, and you know, just yesterday we spoke about that. That the, as either yesterday or this week, our money have no value anywhere else in the world. Nobody wants it. They don't even buy back local currency from the banks outside. Hence the reason why none of them are willing to accept it. But you come in with this thing to change over a hundred dollar note. Again, five years after you change over the money. Eh? The poor pastor with the 28 million. <laughs> poor fella. Remember the pastor, chef? The pastor that... What went down with that, boy? What went down with that? The pastor ever get back in money? What was he seen? I can't remember, no, I can't remember any, um... The pastor, I can't remember what went down with that, with, with, with that story, you know, look old man, tell me now. All right, fellas, you ready? The line jam, oh God. White cat jelly. All right. 
So two three five five three two five. What happened? Now we are real calls coming in, so the lines kind of jam up. But I can't remember the end of that story. You know, if that case is still going on, you know, I must ask Pitt about that. The pastor with the twenty-eight million dollars that they fine when they was changing over the money. Poor fella, banking the money at home. Money all in the cupboard, money all in the roof, money all under the bed. Yes, you know I said, poor fella. They come and they, they, they come and they say, well, look, we had to seize that money. You know what I mean? I don't know if the man ever get back his money, but oh gosh, boy, sad times, sad times. All right, while while we waiting on them to 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 take the the phone line. Um, if the director could pull up the video, we'll come back to this. When, 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 when we have the phone line situ situation um, under control, you could call in on either topic. But I don't want to waste time this morning because every time I go over 8 o'clock, I start to buy breakfast for them. Um, although Chef's saving me this morning. But, oh, hello, good morning. Good morning, Stefan. And yes, the wider view has been shown on Tobago. Yeah, man, go ahead. To, the reason why they're trying to see to change the money, not so much corruption externally mm. in counterfeiting, you know, it's corruption internally. Mm. There are people from the previous administration or, or and, and present with millions of dollars and secretly hidden in their houses, you know, in safety rooms and walls. Mm. So when you hear they change the currency, those who have illegal money, who have gathered it illegally, have to be able to present it to a bank to exchange it. That is what they did with the UNC government. The PNM did it, and now they're going to do it to some of their own people. Right? Understand the way this world works, Stefan. Mm. If the people in Trinidad can open their hands, see that we need to change the people at the head. You see the new circulation of the $100 currency with growly picture on it? If you've seen it, you go see a bubbly. Thank you very much for helping me view my opinion this morning. No problem, my brother. Get their head no out, of the, out, of, out of the dark spot they have it in <laughs> and put it in some light. <laughs> no problem, Chief. Oh, have Lord. a wonderful weekend, sir. You too, man. You too. All right. I hope you're not a Manchester United fan because you have a good weekend, eh? Uh, when, when Liverpool finish with, with them. Um, 2355325. Uh, we're taking the calls on this. This new hundred dollar note they want to unveil. You know, I, I just, you know what I mean. Morning. Morning, morning. Yeah, man, go call, ahead. The, the last call, I have it, have it right, is that the last time they change the money, they want to know how much money they have in the country in terms of circulation. Right. And they print a set of money now, and the money is not being circulated anymore because the charges in the bank is so high that people start now keeping the money mm. at home. Right. So the bank's now losing, losing a lot of money in terms of, of service charges. So they want to get back that now into the circulation. So mm. they begin to understand what is happening. So they know all who have how much money, what money going on. So whether that money was accumulated based on corrupt practices or not, they would begin to understand how much cash it have yeah. all over the country. You, you remember, caller, you can remember what it, whatever happened to the pastor with the 28 million? I, I, I think they, they, they changed the money for him. They are pastor. You know. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right, man, cool. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> that is a pastor, it's a good thing. It's <laughs> money for morning. Morning, morning. Morning, morning, how are you going? Yeah, man, I cool, man, go ahead. You're laughing for so, boy. Well, it's Friday, it's Friday. You have to, you have to, you have to get a laughter any week, you know. But go ahead, man. What, what's your thoughts on the new, this new um, $100 bill, this 2024 series? They want the whole government change. They don't want to change no decide money. Mm. We don't want to change money. Okay. Two millionaires have, have it filed up home. Mm -hmm. They don't bring it out. Okay. Right? Yeah. How are you going? I'm good, man. I call in your, your, I hear you talking about your two brothers, your father tell you to take care of them. Yeah. Make sure that they do, they, they go and walk, you know, and don't depend on your pocket. No, nah, they're working, they're working. I might have to depend on them. They're working for more money than me. They're good to go. All right, but two people <laughs> where, where they said... Um, they haven't died. <laughs> tax on four for $60,000 and, and 11000 for the lady, the mother upstairs. Uh, they, they went into them and they tell them the story, they make a mistake. 
Repeat that? So it's mistake and mistake all the time. So I work 40, over 40 years to make more I have and buy my little thing for my house. And yeah. build a little house. And now they're talking about coming and take out him. Mm. All what I buy. Okay. These people mad. Mm. I know today that I work in right. flower garden work for two dollars a day. Mm. I was 84 years, this year I will be 85. What you're songing? You're songing younger than that man. And you you I always hear you talk about your father sugar. Only sugar alone he had. Who born man? Your father. Nah, he had um he, sugar was he, the 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 least he, 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 he problems, you know, it's a stroke and um, I think he, he they, they diagnosed him with COPD too. But I have, I have, um, I have seven different things. I get mm. stroke, heart, 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 heart attack, yeah. sugar, pressure, mm -hmm. gotico, asthma. Yeah, he had asthma too. My old man had asthma too. All that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a itch in my body and a bone and I was 84 now. I'm going to be 85 this year. All right, man. Congratulations on that, man. I will be the first black Chinese. 10, 10, 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. All right, cool. Yeah, man, thanks. All right, so 84 going on to 85, man. Man, see, suffering from about seven different things. Yes, morning. <laughs> Hello, morning. 2, 3, 5, 5, 3, 2, 5. Right, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. So they, they have this new one, should a little bit of waiting to see what it looked like, you know. Because remember they did this fifty remember they did that fifty dollar bill. And then they did that fifty dollar bill right after that. Right? I know people who still had the old fifty dollar bill. True. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And they can't do nothing with it. Because I think they change it over to, to the other fifty dollar bill and yeah. boy, look now. I don't know, you know. <laughs> you know change over the money, boy. How much money? When, when they had the first changeover to see who are money and who is yeah. coming out with all the money to change and thing, thing, thing. Right. How much money people would have made in the last, in, in between that time and now, between 2019 and now, especially through the pandemic? Because sure. remember, you had your changeover in 2019, yeah. you had a pandemic in 2020, 2021, and part of 2022. Morning. Hello, Stefan. Good morning. Yeah, morning. What's up? Instead of them trying to capture who, you know, making ruction with the money, who, who counterfeiting it and all of that, mm -hmm. instead of trying to capture them, like so, so if they counterfeit this one now that they're making, they will change it next year again. Well, apparently. They, they, they have to show that they're doing something. Central Bank ain't doing nothing. So they're showing that they're doing something. They have to account for all the managers driving Mercedes Benz and mm -hmm. all these things, you know. So they have to look like they're busy and they're doing something. But I want to ask a question here this morning. How is it that the Prime Minister, when he leaves in the country, he always put in input? He don't have no other minister that he could rely on to put to act well, at the end? Well, if you go back to the 2015 election campaign, right? All the uh -huh. presentations that were given by the PNM was given by the Prime Minister and Colin Booth. was given by Keith Rowley and, well, at, at the time he was opposition leader. But it was, it was him and Imbert. They were the two spokespersons on the platform. Okay, all right. And so I'll, when I'll you want to know, but when you want to know who running the show. We know who running the show. Well, well. We, know, we all know who running the show. Exactly. Certainly not the one, certainly who not the, not the one that, that gone by my father's country. Mm -hmm. Certainly not them. All right. Of course. What happened with the report? The the um the Judith Jones report and the the, the divers. What what going on with that? Everything shut down. Well, well, well remember he gone on vacation. You know, he meet with the families. Nothing came of it. Christopher Boudram said it was it was you know a fruitless meeting. It didn't make any sense um, okay. at this at that stage. And then boom, he jump on a plane and gone for vacation. Um, I thought vaca I thought parliamentarians just get vacation during the um the August. The, the, the parliamentary break, I, but you must have a, you must have two set of vacation then. I, well, well, I, don't know what he, I don't know what he have, you know, but he don't have anything under control. I know that one for sure, okay. because okay. everything going to hell. Okay, bye. Ah, all right, cool. Imagine that, eh? Thanks a lot, caller. Um, we got to go, we got to take the break, fellas, but here what man. Chef, it's two vacation, EPM, let's go.
No, I just asking. I don't know. I ain't criticizing. No, I just asking. I, I really, genuinely didn't know. I thought the vacation period is when Parliament go on recess, and everybody's take the vacation. Right. But then I, I, I read where he gone on vacation, and I know we in April. Yeah, you know, I work in here from I work in here twenty since twenty fourteen, and you can't and have I've never taken a vacation. You know. You know what I'm saying, yeah? And I do have money, like, I, I do have money and free the like them fellas and them, I can't just jump on a plane and go by me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah? When did this in Barbados, yeah? Who was in Barbados? He was in Barbados. Who? The PM? Yeah. Yes, remember he went Barbados? Yes, he went Barbados yeah. recently too. Yeah. He said he's going to chill out there, he's taking a, um, a break. But I, I didn't think that was... Yes, he was... Yes. It was not vacation? Yes. But how much vacation he just get? Man, see, you another time out. I think it was Vicky. And he went, yes, he didn't go on no official business, man. At the time, the, the Brent Thomas issue was, was, was the issue that was burning. Right, at the first trip. Then he and he said, going, go yeah. And it just so happened he chose Barbados yeah. during the Brent Thomas thing. And then by the time he come back, a whole narrative had come out and whatever. But Brent Thomas taking action. Eh? I see that in the papers too the other day. You understand? But I really didn't know. I thought, I really, really thought, right? That the vacation time is during that period where the parliament on recess. You understand? Because if it was me, right? If I own a business, think about this, right, people? Forget what you're entitled to. But if I own a business and the business not doing well. Correct. Where are you going? I can take vacation. You know what I'm saying? The warehouse falling down. It's falling apart. It needs it need renovations. Right? We had several break-ins. Right? Where items were stolen. Resulting in losses. Right? Follow me here. All that going on. Production low. Right? We not we 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 spending more than we making. Right? We can't access foreign exchange. All these things happen with the business, eh? Yeah. Remember, this is a business. So all these things going on with the business, and I say, as you know, here we're going on, eh, fellas, I, 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 I go and take a, a, a two weeks vacation. But be mad. Let me see, let me see what chef have there for me there before we, just we go to the break. Or anything that, you don't think, that you would say that I am I am a madman, that I just happy. If if I have a company that is falling apart, right? The employees concerned on whether they're going to be, remain employed or if I might gotta lay off staff because the way the business is going, all these things going on in the business, and I take a two weeks vacation. But I'll be mad. Do you think so? Yeah. Anyway, this is what we're talking about. We creeping. We ain't creeping this morning, and we creeping. <laughs> All right. So Chef has has um, put together this wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah, Chris, I feel it's better. You come on. Yeah, come yeah, on. I'm gonna see now. I'm gonna put it on the side with the dates and thing. Oh God! Hey, presentation to you. Know. Let's get there. All the only presentation is of his college. No, no, no. He's got presentation here too. And I want, yeah. I, want, I want to say good morning to the kids in the kids' cooking class. Yeah, get a little morning. apple and thing. Yes. And it's a little apple on the side here too. You know, watch, watch, watch. Oh, good. All right, Chris, I know you're hungry. <laughs> Let me go to the break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, so I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got a few other things to toss at you. We're going to continue to take your calls this morning. Um, as soon as we had our time, you know, to run that 23 minute speech, you know, we ain't got time for that, I doubt it. But um, it was a hell of a speech, boy. Or look, go to YouTube and, and look for that speech from the El Salvador president. You, it will, you will be able to relate to it. He speaks of so many things, including the media. Um, the media, look, I'll explain, when, I'll explain during the course of the second hour. Stay tuned, we're back after this.
Ostomy care is a unique and intimate condition that can seem challenging for individuals afflicted by it. At Better Life Ostomy Care, they understand and offer a wide range of products and services that will allow ostomates to lead a better life. From colostomy and urostomy pouches, paste and powders, antibacterial wipes, bravo strips, deodorants, gloves, gauze, bed liners, and much, much more. They also have RN care available for ostomy home care with affordable starter packages. No need to look for no or supply, everything is just a phone call away. Better Life Ostomy Care is located at number 4 Mosque Street, Carony. You can call them at 308-6709 or 472-5878 or visit their website at www.betterlifeostomycarett.com to find out more about their offerings. You can also write to them at betterlifeostomycarett at gmail.com or find them on Facebook. Better Life Ostomy Care, servicing Ostomates with a better quality of life. Thank you. Hey, 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 this is crazy. Edwin Ayong. Well, you have to be mad if the family not going down to Love Health Store for treatment for them old pain and other health problems, especially uncle who have erectile dysfunction issues. High definition eye drops to remove cataracts, $990. Double barrel arteries cleaner, $295. Colloidal silver immune system builder, $195. Pre-diabetic herbal for diabetes, reversal. $195 Kidney Stone Remover $195 Acacia Capsules for Fatty Liver Disease $195 Hydrolyzed Collagen for Joint Pains $295 Cranberry Capsules for Urinary Tract Infection $195 Pomegranate Capsules to Strengthen Your Heart $195 Bed and Foot Ulcer Treatment $195 T-TARP membership discount. Nationwide delivery. Love Health Store. Forget about bucket lists. We want to know what's on your best life list. Vacation. Education. Renovation. Celebration. Live your best life with Island Finance. Visit a branch near you or islandfinancetrinidad.com and live your best life now. Subject to credit approval and documents verification. Jazz and wine, or is it? Beyond Jazz and Wine. Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Center stage, the queen amongst the kings. Powerhouse vocalist, Mauricia Kagan. Saxophone specialist, Malcolm Boyce. Versatile and captivating, Siggy Rankin. Panist extraordinaire, Dane Galston. With his band, Live Sweet Bread. And the chosen one, Ja Melody, will get you off your seats. This event is definitely... Beyond Jazz and Wine. Experience this musical journey at the enchanting outdoor garden theater at Queen's Hall. Transform into an oasis fit for kings and queens. Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Limited early bird tickets available at Java Nation, Queen's Park East, and online at islandetickets.com or call 737-2373. Jazz and Wine. Experience the sweetness over and over again. Welcome to Morali Realty. Let's delve into the expertise of our dynamic team to understand what sets us apart. We excel in providing personalized solutions for all your rental and purchasing needs. With a keen understanding of the market and unparalleled negotiation skills, we strive to achieve the best outcome for our clients. Guiding clients through every step of the real estate process is our mission. The satisfaction and peace of mind is our top priority. We are committed to upholding the highest standards of integrity and service excellence. Marketing plays a pivotal role in our approach to sales and rentals. Through innovative strategies and targeted campaigns, we showcase properties very effectively. As you can see, our team is equipped with the knowledge, skill and passion to guide you through your home journey. Give us a call today and let us turn your real estate dream into reality.
Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, roti makers. Try Chic Leisha high quality unbleached bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Bleached flour and bromate flour is treated with chemicals that can cause cancer and this is banned in Europe and many other countries. Chic Leisha flour offers a healthier option being that it's unbleached and bromate free. It also has a finer grain and a softer texture. Lower priced and conveniently packaged in 2 pound, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. Available at groceries and supermarkets. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chic Leisha Limited at 665-3336 or 480-8715 or visit them at Warrenville Canopia. Chic Leisha Limited. Quality you can trust. Calling all runners for the biggest 5K event of 2024 with over $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a $5,000 first prize up for grabs and medals for all participants. And one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada worth $10,000 courtesy GG's Travel. Run, step on run, 5K and fun walk with part proceeds going to the Diabetes Association of TNT. Sunday, 28th April, warm up courtesy Empower Fitness at 6 a.m. Race starts at 6 6.30 a.m. sharp at QRC. Register online at TrimbagoEvents.com or walk-in registration at Diabetes Association, Success Street in Chaguanas, Adams Optical, Chaguanas, and San Fernando, and Synergy TV, Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. For more info, go to Stephen Reese Production on Facebook or call 7302588 or 4825531. Sunday, April 28th. Compete, support sport, and support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Have you thought about where you're going for lunch today? Well, Tanti's Creole Food serves the best in local dishes at a great price. They're located at Alta Spaniard, Duke Street, Port of Spain. They offer the best in Creole, Chinese, and curry dishes. Mmm. Don't miss their after-work special and soup Saturdays. It's cow heel, oxtail, pigtail, and chicken foot soup. Mmm. And also, fish broth is on the menu. Give them a call or WhatsApp, 734-3398. Or simply visit them at the All-Star Paniada, Duke Street, Port of Spain. Safe and secure parking is also available. Tanti's a Creole food, the best in town. Check them out today. You know the bricks need to get a minute longer? <laughs> or I need to start eating a minute faster? <laughs> Have a little quarter crep there, you know, a little quarter crep you know, man. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Chef, that is good, boy. The salmon with the, with the, with the, with the cream cheese, yeah. and then blending with the, where you use maple syrup? Yeah. With your maple syrup. And maple syrup with your little dates. Something It's sweet and kind of sour. Yeah. They got crepes, crepes sweet and savory. S right, sweet and savory, sorry. Yeah. The sweet and savory and the salmon, the flavor, the salmon. Yeah. yeah. Nice it, 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 went on, it went on extremely well. It was a real good combination. Nice it was different. Yeah. It was real different. Um, I enjoyed it, as you could see. You know? And, 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 and. Well, you see the quiet in the back, I mean the mouthful. <laughs> when you see the quiet, so and then saying that word, it's because the mouthful, you know. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you see the laughing now? Yeah, the mouthful, you understand? That is what it is. Um, All right, people, so we got Keodophilus enzyme and probiotics. Let me tell you about this quickly. Um, Keodophilus enzyme and probiotics. If you're looking at IBS, burning stomach acid, reflux, blue and ulcers, you want to get rid of that, you go pick up a bottle of Keodophilus enzyme and probiotics. It'll get you fixed up. All right? Now, with 70% of your immune system located in your gut, what Keodophilus enzyme and probiotics does is it tackles the problem at the root. So give them a call on 728-0338. That is 7280338, or you can pick it up at any leading pharmacy or health store near you, Keodophilus. Van Egmond, the magic soil for oil plants. And you can pick it up at the Freeport Agro Center, and that is located opposite the Freeport Police Station. Remember, you could call 790-9247 or 
4603 for more information on Van Egmont the Magic Soil. So get the information before you make a purchase. All right, I always advise people, don't just go buy things blindly, but trust that the eye, the eye and I, you understand? I will guide you accordingly and, you know, my credibility is right up. So if I tell all of that soil real good, it real good. Um, this is a client was with us before in the earlies when I know when, went out and started to do marketing and stuff and Van Egmond came on board and I tell you the results were second to none talking about plants bearing in six weeks you know chef mm -hmm. but I'm telling you I'm telling you um, it, 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 it is for real it's one of the best soil that you will get um, anywhere you will the Van Egmond brand yeah yeah Go down by the agro center, check them out. All right, so check them out, people. It is the magic soil. Also, Chef Shiraz has the creative international cuisine cooking course. And uh, this is for anybody who's a budding chef, foodie, or culinary entrepreneur. And um, this is the course for you. You're going to experience that hands-on French, Italian, authentic, Indian, and pastries. Um, you're going to learn to make all of that. It's going to inspire you and uh, your culinary creativity and this course is taught by some of the most experienced chefs in trinidad with international backgrounds it's a six-week course it will start on the 4th of may and end on the 15th of june and all raw materials will be provided you will get your certificate of completion after the course so call chef shiraz today to get registered 372-4639 or 737-5097 those are the numbers to call. Payment plans are available and limited space also available. So pick up the phone and start calling. Well, not now, but from 801. All right. Yeah. Uh, also, um, Run, Stefan, Run. Am I get that now? Yeah. So we got Run, Stefan, Run people, and you all know we're pushing this hard. We're coming out to support the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Part of the proceeds will go to them. And they're going to buy a device. They're going to use that to, to get this device in abundance for children suffering with type 1 diabetes so that they could put it on their arm, which will monitor their, their blood sugar levels so they don't have to be constantly stuck um, and, and, and tested. All right, because that's what usually goes on. So I don't want, I, I, I just hate hearing or knowing that children go through that. So we're going to raise part of those proceeds are going to go to the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago. We want you to come out and support that. Yeah, you could come out, you could run, you could try to win the $5,000 first prize. It is the biggest first prize for a 5K ever in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. So you're welcome at it. Throw your hat in the ring, be competitive, support competition, support sports, support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. So you're welcome to compete for any one of the prizes. You're welcome to come and walk, right? We're actually trying to figure out how we can give our prize to the top three walkers. But guidance will be needed by Roadrunners to see how we could establish that. Um, because we have a lot of body running around in Savannah and they're pretending to walk the last quarter and say they beat people who was walking. But um, for, the, for the fastest walker, um, we're trying to organize our prize for that too. I tell you, and the reason why we, we could do these things is because, I mean, just look at the sponsors. Look at everybody who's on board. And we just need the people on board now. That's what we need. You, the people, is you all have to be on board. Um, that's not somebody says Stefan, cool yourself vacation. And there's some people with a family. You don't have a family. <laughs> you don't have a child and thing. Oh, God. Yeah, kicks again, eh? Kicks again, eh? <laughs> they, say, they say you have plenty of children, so that means more vacation. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Only my shrub this morning with that one. Only my shrub this morning with that one. Oh, good. Hey, I ain't lying. You can't trade him. Right, so like I'm saying, we coming out, we running, we walking, we supporting. All right, um, this magnificent event, which is this 5K, the biggest 5K in the history. I tell you, the prize structure is like no other. 
seven age group categories, customized medals to be um, for all participants. You're getting your goodie bag. We're getting bags sponsored by Ad Bags. Ad Bags, good morning to you. Um, we also have that trip for two to Grenada. Three nights, four days. Some lucky person is going to win that trip and they're off to Grenada. And that is courtesy Gigi's Travel. And Gigi's Travel, of course, they have um, locations in Separia at the Gans Lane, number eight, the Gans Lane in Separia, and in San Fernando at Room 109 Cross Crossing Shopping Plaza. That is Lady Hills Avenue in San Fernando. And they are fully computerized. They have access to all social media networks. All right. You could call them on 479-0145 or 478-7806. Go check out Gigi's Travel. If you need help um, in terms of personalized and, and, and professional uh, service, business or leisure, um, they deal with that. If you need visa assistance, whether it is US, Canadian, and ETAs, um, from start to finish, and guidance as required, they could help you with that. Travel insurance, if you need that local and foreign for each and every trip, they, they got you covered there. Cruises, they also affiliated with all cruise lines internationally and domestically. So when you reach chef age, you know you want to take a cruise. You want to fly again. You want to take a cruise now because you know, yes, with that chef age, right? I still fly. In. I still fly. In. I ain't ready for the. I ain't. I not ready for the cruise ship yet, right? Uh, but chef, chef ready for that man. Yeah, it's that chef age group, you know. Um, car rentals worldwide. You could they could assist you with that. Flights anywhere in the world. They are also recognized, and they have an alliance with all airlines worldwide. Uh, they could also pre-book your seat and meals on the flight. Ferry service in Trinidad and Tobago. They deal with that as well as international tours. And uh, they also offer domestic and international package for individuals and groups. And this includes flights, accommodations, and transfers wherever your destinations are. So check out Gigi's Travel. They have sponsored this trip for two to Grenada with $10,000. Whether you run, whether you walk, whether you crawl past the finish line, whether you come across in a wheelchair and all. If For those of you who handicapped and you might be in a wheelchair and you come to this, take, take in the morning vibes and get a little fresh air and thing. Even if you come across on a wheelchair, right? Any one of you could win the, the trip for Tuta Grenada. All right? Um, just a few people to acknowledge here. We want to acknowledge Movie Tong, Signs R Us, R um, Regal Products, Starglow Enterprises. All right? Uh, Starglow Enterprises Company Limited. Um, Cannes, Poultry and Meats, Central Neon, Gigi's Travel, Sasha Cosmetics, Brand Source, um, Blue Waters, Trinbago Events, Extra Foods, NGC, all right, Zellish, Sunshine Snacks, AS Bryden, we have to acknowledge them, Bryden Pie, are waiting on all to respond, all right, we have Bryden on board, we need um, Bryden Pie too, um, First Citizens Bank, we want to thank the fine folks at First Citizens Bank, now, those were sponsors up to about 10 o'clock yesterday. That was the list of sponsors. We want to add Sol Soldana to that. That is Holiday Foods, the planting chips. They have come on board. So Holiday Foods, thanks a lot for that. Um, Angostura. Angostura, we want to thank Angostura um, as well for coming on board. And I am awaiting a couple other people who I had meetings with yesterday. All right, they include, they include two big ones, that if we get them on board, you know. Eastern Credit Union, I find all the dragon on your foot, are waiting on a response. Is yay, nay, or get off the highway? All the lemon know which way it's going. Is either yes or no. Don't afraid to say no, but I prefer you say yes. All right? Nice, man. What's going on? Yeah. You reach late, boy. But it was seafood this morning, they wouldn't eat that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, that is how it's going for Run, Stefan Run. So we got, we still have some, some things to see about um, in terms of sponsorship. I just waiting between today and I think by Tuesday next week, we should be finalized with everybody on board. Um, yeah, with everybody. But I want people to come out and support this in your numbers. 
All right? We need about a thousand people. We should be able to get a thousand people coming out here, man. Come on. Support that healthy lifestyle against diabetes. Um, finally, AJ Academic. AJ Academic, they got the, the, um, the University Fair 2024, which will take place on Saturday, the 13th of April at the Hilton Trinidad and Conference Center. Admission is absolutely free. And uh, remember I told you, I will let you know what you need to be prepared with. So come prepared to make your application for September or January intake. Two, the University of Law, Leeds um, Beckett University, Conestoga College, University Niagara Falls, University of Canada West, um, Barbary Global, Niagara College, um, Toronto, Toronto School of Management, right? Um, also, Paul, um, Saskatchewan Polytechnic, um, Brock University, Macromedia University, University of Europe for Applied Sciences, Gizma University of Applied Sciences, Arden University and more. And uh, you can connect with AJ Academic, register your interests and join them for a day of inspiration, networking and exploration and a chance to meet your match. Remember, it is Saturday the 13th um, of April, Hilton Trinidad Conference Center. Um, and this is the University Fair admission is up absolutely free and they're going to be renowned in international institutions from the uk us germany canada dubai and ireland all right so you want to make sure and take this opportunity um you could explore the cutting edge programs covering 300 plus courses and gain real-time advice on admission process and immigration procedures study abroad programs and much more so please Go check this out, AG Academic, all right? And the University Fear 2024. All right, fellas, um, before we get to the birdies, let me get to the, to the mother. We come into the birdies, hey, ole, ole, hold on. Right, I don't know what it's looking like yet, but let me, get, let me get in some phone calls now. Let me get to the mothers. Not the mothers, but this, this video with this mother here. Um, probably video for me now, we muted it because it was so, so much expletives. This woman here, let me tell you something, eh? They, they arrested her. The, the, the news is in the, in the paper this morning. Police Superintendent Claire Guy Allen told Newsday on Thursday that a San Juan woman seen in a disturbing viral video abusing two small children has been arrested by the police and the children have been given medical attention. The Children's Authority in a statement said the children were taken into the, into the care um, of the authority. Now, in the video, there is an argument going on between the, 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 the woman in white, who is the mother of the children, and another resident at, at, at the, the location. And apparently, they put her out. So they evict her. They say, listen, get out of the house. We don't want you living here. And she has to take two children with her. But the person is saying to her, you rest that child on the ground one more time and see what will happen. Because apparently she rests the child on the ground. She pick up the children, she abuse them all kind of how. Even later down in the video, she actually pick up the smaller child and rest the child on the ground. The elder child got up to pick up her sister and she grabbed the child and started to rough up the child and, 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 and throw the child back onto the, um, the step. And that is when um, the, the other members of the, of the house got involved because it, it, it got a little too, too physical with the children. But let me tell you something, eh? This is one of the problems we're facing in society right now and why the place is how it is. We have people who not, they, 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 they're not built for it, but they're having children. And one of the things that, that, that the girl told her in the video is that you digging your hole and coming home and taking it out on these children. You understand? So I'm glad that the authority got involved. I'm glad that the police got involved. I'm glad that they have her in custody. And I'm glad that the children are in the care of the, of, of the authority. Because let me tell you something. Those children, if they grow up in that environment with that woman, they're going to lose their way. And I ain't saying that to throw shade on it. That is the reality. 
Nine out of ten times, they're going to lose their way. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. For those of you who have seen this video circulating on social media, you all are well aware of the language in it. I counted 44 times that obscene language was used. 44 times. In three minutes and 11 seconds. So, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. Let's take some calls now. And then we'll get to the break on the birthdays. Morning. Yeah, morning. Just the other day, you show one kicking down a child. Now, yeah. I'm watching this here this morning. But for the first time, I'm seeing this. Yeah. Now, the thing is, they will take the child away from her. But they have nothing in place. They don't have no proper system for when mm. things like these happen to children, where you're going to put them and what. Yeah. Up to now, we can't hear nothing about Judy Jones' report. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and no, you realize no man in the picture there, eh? No, no, no man, man in the picture. No man there. And they're just having children with these women and, and you know, they, they're just there for, as a baby maker. Mm -hmm. And the poor children have to grow up in this kind of environment. Look at this kind of environment. Mm -hmm. My animals get better. Well, I shouldn't even say that. But look at what it is these children have to put up with. And what about the one that got kicked down? They took the child. Where the child is? Who taking yeah. care of the child? Children are being abused, raped. Well, God, all kind of thing in some of these homes. We have a report. We mm -hmm. don't even know what's going on with the report. So, I don't know what to say, no, Stefan. I really yeah. don't know what this thing is very dis... I mean, I'm watching it here, and it is very disturbing to even look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You should hear it. It's even more disturbing. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. It's even more disturbing. The language, the anger, the hostility, the violence that these children are exposed to. That ain't good for these children mentally, man. Um, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. We take a, a, a few more. Hello, good morning. I watch our video and I was real disturbed, you know. That is no kind of environment for a child to live in, boy. Morning. Morning, Stefan. Morning, my dear. Nothing has been placed after when the child taken away. What's mm. going on in the home? Because the child could be going through the same thing in the home that they put them that they're supposed to be safe. Right. In the, in the, in the children's home. When I see videos like that and I see animals too, when people being cruel to animals, yeah. and I see things like that, I, I do like to watch videos like that, boy, Stephanie. Mm. It could make me trip. I just feel like I could be a serial killer at that moment. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's really too sad and too hurtful. Mm. And the next thing, too, they need to check up on the animal cruelty to um, the law pass, and people really overdoing it with the animal cage up and pen up. Yeah, yeah. And police need to pass and really start seeing about those things, too. Not no, everybody true. meant to have to run to a step on people that's breathing and making children, but not everybody meant to be parent. Exactly. Thank yeah. You. Exactly. Um, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. The way that woman handled those children. For those of you see, seeing this video on social, all know the kind of language, so we just decided to mute it. Morning. If we run Morning. that with that, it didn't make any sense. Morning. Morning, Stefan. How are you going, man? Hi, good man. Talk to us. Stefan, you know, we just always look back in the past and try to compare and say, watch, you know, watch how things was then. Look what they used to do then. Mm -hmm. And then at present now, we don't really be conscious about the present, what we doing now, to say, hey, hear what? When I die and go, I'll be leaving children behind to be able to function in the society. You know, we just talk about slavery, how they used to be treated and all kind of thing back then. We just talk about all kind of nonsense back then. And then we do the same thing and even worse, where we are present and we do have those conditions to deal with. Men going and breeding women like this and mm. making children all over the place. When them leave this place and they leave these children behind, what they expect the, the, the place to be? What yeah. kind of society they expect that you go on and have a couple of children with this woman here? She treated them like that. We die and go, and then you have these kids and them growing up to be adults in the society now. And then we complain about the type of society we, we, we have and we live in it. You understand? That is, that is the, the things where people don't take into consideration. My life after that is my children, you know? Yeah. Me and know I going, we just talk about heaven and hell and all kind of nonsense. We don't know where, but I know I leave two children back here. And everything I do in my conscious state is to make sure I leave two human beings that is, if not perfect, near perfect for society to deal with. Right. And so far, I don't want to complain. Okay. What is wrong with the heads of these people? Em? What do they be thinking? I think it's a lot of, it's a lot of illiteracy. Illiteracy does, does breed ignorance. 
Ignorance has breed violence. Violence has breed murder, chaos, everything else. So that's what it is. It's just a matter of being, it's, it's illiteracy. Hello? Morning, morning. Hey, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you, you see, we're scratching the surface. What happens is that the governance in the country is the cause of all of these things. People don't mm -hmm. have money to, to, to meet their commitments. You mm -hmm. know how much domestic violence and child abuse is going on behind closed doors? Yeah, well, boy, you know, the amount we see seeing coming yeah. out now. Yeah, go ahead. And, they, and, and there is no redress. The whole yeah. issue, when, when people blaming women for God, they have to go and make a dollar to, to make ends meet to feed the children, to mm -hmm. send them to school. And when you get put out, there are also the frustration. And where do you vent that? Yeah. And they've been which part they have control, and the children is the one who abuse, and husbands abuse their wives, and sometimes wives abuse husbands and husbands, vice yeah. and all kind of thing. And these things happen throughout the society. Mm -hmm. And the, the issue, you know, the Ministry of Social Development and Child Child Care and all kind of thing, they do nothing. They don't care about that. I don't think they have the. I don't think the data is there. Yeah. So they, they, when you finish and you look at the society at large, these are things happening when places are, are not governed properly. Yeah. So this, this government had to go. They had to go. They are the root cause of all of these things. If you have, if you have economic growth in the country and money and commerce as well, people will find jobs and they'll make ends meet. They'll be less frustrated too, less stressed well, well, out, more calm. Basically, and, and all of these fellows who come out of the woodwork when things happen and say this and say that and all kind of nonsense. Mm -hmm. look, 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 look at what happened in Tobago. A parent and a seven-year-old child across a major road to, 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 to go, go, on, go, go on make a message. And when the child gets they don't want to blame the, the driver. Where was the parent? Hmm. So, so, so the, the ministry and all this talk and, and address certain institutions that they want to, highlight things that they want to, and not generally deal with the issues. Fix the country, now, man. Yeah. Hello. All right. Yeah, man. Cool. Seven thirty-one, and uh, we gotta take a break. We gotta take a break. When we come back from the break, uh, we got some birthdays to get to, and the police. Yes, we ain't forget the police this morning with the driver. All this stay tuned. We have some police to deal with. We we'll back after this. Hi there, cool. Are you trying to overcome your predicaments? Chandra Guruji is a highly experienced astrologer. He will decode your name, date of birth, face, palm lines and describe to solve your inner world problems, personality traits, love life, finances, professional life and your future life. Expert in bringing X back, eliminating bad energy and much more. Call Guruji at plus one eight six eight three six four seven six three eight. Limited period offer. Get reading at $30 today and save $70. Green Dot continues to deliver internet connectivity to a wide range of communities in Trinidad. With our combination fiber and wireless network, you get the service you need wherever you live. Stream your favorite shows, enjoy online tuition, stay in touch with your work team, and connect with friends and family with internet service at a price you can afford. As communities continue to grow, we continue to deliver. Call 224-GDOT or visit gd.tt today. Green Dot. Improving and simplifying lives. My parents' generation grew up with Royal Castle from the first restaurant in 1968 when that distinctive, tempting aroma hit the air. Like never before, fried chicken with a special blend of local seasonings and a one-of-a-kind flavor down to the bone. Today, Royal Castle still have that same delicious taste and I love it too. And the kids, they have more to enjoy. For me, the castle is more than just nice food. Is we own part of me and you, and is the real flavor of TMT. Unlock the door on a global journey to invest in real estate in the United States. Introducing Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Their real estate experts will guide you through every step of buying, selling, leasing, and business sales, providing a seamless experience as you invest or relocate. Explore a diverse range of properties from beachfront, condos, luxury, residential, and commercial, and unlock the incredible opportunities the United States has to offer. Their affiliated companies provide property management, property insurance, finance and so much more. So let them guide you through the process, ensuring a smooth transition. With offices conveniently located in South Florida, you can contact them today and let your international real estate adventure begin. Call them directly at 1-561-459-4361 or WhatsApp 1-561-574-2846. Team Realty and Investment Solutions. Offering respect, relationships and results. 
Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, roti makers. Try Chic Leisha high quality, unbleached, bromate free, all purpose and whole wheat flour. Bleached flour and bromate flour is treated with chemicals that can cause cancer and this is banned in Europe and many other countries. Chic Leisha flour offers a healthier option being that it's unbleached and bromate free. It also has a finer grain and a softer texture. Lower priced and conveniently packaged in 2 pound, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. Available at groceries and supermarkets. Markets. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiclisha Limited at 665-3336 or 480-8715 or visit them at Warrenville Canopia. Chiclisha Limited, quality you can trust. Air conditioning problems? Then look no further. A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an easy solution for all your automotive, commercial, and domestic air conditioning needs. With two convenient locations to serve you, A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an extensive range of parts and services, including pressure test kits, refrigerator sports, front and rear evaporators for maxi taxis. They also cater for both foreign and local automobile models like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan and more. So pay them a visit today at either of their two locations. Number 36 Alfonso Street, San Grande. Phone 784-2707 or 386-5700. And number 133 Corner Rolling Street at Bonaventure Mayo Gasparillo. Phone 312-2245 or 782-9720. Calling all runners for the biggest 5K event of 2024 with over $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a $5,000 first prize up for grabs and medals for all participants. And one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada, worth $10,000 courtesy GG's Travel. Run, step on run, 5K and fun one with part proceeds going to the Diabetes Association of TNT. Sunday, 28 April, warm up courtesy Empower Fitness at 6 a.m. Race starts at 6 6 30 a.m. sharp at QRC. Register online at trimbagoevents.com or walk in registration at Diabetes Association, Success Street in Chaguanas, Adams Optical, Chaguanas, and San Fernando, and Synergy TV, Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. For more info, go to Stephen Reese Production on Facebook or call 7302588 or 4825531. Sunday, April 28th. Compete, support sport, and support a healthy lifestyle against diabetes. All right, so we're back on Breaking Dawn. Um, before we get to the police, I did finish my breakfast, by the way. Nice, lovely. Put that on the side. Chef, you can take that, you know. Come, Chef, part of the culinary world is service, is service, Chef. Hospitality. They call it hospitality. <laughs> I, I know you want the same way you bring the plate, you have to take it away, man. I know, I know you, I know you are money setting it. I, 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 know, I, I, know, you, I know you are money setting it, yeah. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, you're not following Friday morning, you know, people are telling all you. Know. You're not following Friday morning. Well, the dates, yeah, hold on. I know, but, yeah. It's out for you. All right, okay, okay. I, I know you want me to come on Saturday now. Like, good morning. Try to take again. Good morning. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ball. All right, so we got some birthdays here, and then we get to the police. I'm going to show fast I can rattle off these birthdays. Take some calls and wrap up this morning. Um... You know, a lot of people tell me this is Stefan. I was enjoying our Friday morning show, you know, you make me laugh, you know. You see, when you go, when you, when you go down into your, in, into your kind of laid back mood. When Chef here, now, boy. Yeah, and. <laughs> and all right, yes, when Chef here. Um, yeah. But, but let, me, let me tell you something. You had to. Listen, you had to take the stress off going into the weekend. True. Because come Monday, we're going to be stressed out again. I know what I'm telling you. Start all over again. Starting all over again. Over again. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Oh gosh! You know what, ladies? Don't get excited. <laughs> they have a day. We got. We got to do a duo, boy. We got to so do a duo. So tough. Yeah. <laughs> but we gonna make it. I tell all you, he's a second church. All the people in the studio, now, man. All right. So I tell you what. Loyal viewer of the show, I'd like to request uh, to wish my granddaughter a happy birthday from her grandfather, Dio, grandmother, Gloria, Uncle Josh, Aunt Esther, Father Gordon, 
Father Gordon. Mm-hmm. The Archbishop name is is, is uh, Jason Gordon. All right, we'll just go with Father Gordon. <laughs> Father Gordon, Mother Danielle, and the rest of the family. Um, uh, you're growing to be a kind and beautiful girl. I wish to see you continue to do so. We all love you. All right, so happy birthday to this lovely young lady whose name we did not get. Uh oh. In all the names that we get, <laughs> they didn't send the birthday girl name. Father Gordon, what are we not? They just said we wish um, grand, the granddaughter. <laughs> so to the granddaughter, happy birthday. Easy. Oh, no, 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 no. They put the name. They put the name. It's on top. Birthday greetings go out to Victoria Chongling. Ah. So that's Victoria. Victoria! <laughs> hello! All right, nice man. And she turned the ice cream, the bush. Can you feel for ice cream? Yes. Um, happy <laughs> birthday to Shreya, coming from her dad and mom, Avi and Sada, not forgetting her sister, Akshaya of Coral Springs in Florida. Oh, yeah, man, Shreya, but we do this one. When this was sent. Oh, yeah, no, but I could remember doing this boy. My memory ain't gone, you know. <laughs> oh, this, 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 this is the same Shreya. Yeah, the other one is the same Shreya. Yeah, right, so we're going to Anilga. Guys, Shreya there again, yeah. Right, so happy birthday to my loving mother, Shirley, from your three sons, Sunil, Mukesh, and Rajin. Shirley! Let me step mother name, yeah, Shirley. Happy birthday! Um, also, good evening. This is Angie from Sangri Grandi. She will be 60 years of age on the 5th of April. Wishing her a happy birthday coming from her two sons, Chris and Kyle, and her husband, Jovis. All right, so happy birthday going out to Angie. Um, right. Uh, happy birthday to my loving husband, Andre Diaz, um, from your wife, Lizzie, your three children, Giandre, um, Gino, and Fiona. Uh, thank you for your unconditional love and support and for caring for me. We love you so much. Also, from your five grandchildren, keep up the good work, Stefan. Thank you so much. Unconditional <laughs> love, man, that we're talking about. All right, and those birthday greetings. Mr. Diaz will celebrate his birthday on the seventh. Eh? That will be on Sunday. So we say happy birthday to him yeah. in advance. Also, happy anniversary to Nina and Darren Paul of Faisabad. Thank you, Lord, for 31 years of ups and downs, but never giving up. Good man. Here yeah, now, like everybody have the name of a song boy. <laughs> In in, in, yeah. in in the greeting world. Yeah, well. Never give up. Never give up. Oh God! Hey, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's that. That's that. That's that. All right. So here we go again. Happy seventy first uh, birthday, Mama Brenda. Birthday wishes from son Rishi, daughter Rima, your four precious grandchildren, Haley, Zachary, Emily, and uh, Vasudev, uh, son-in-law Varma, and daughter-in-law Lauren. And they want you to know they love you so much, ma. So much. That's what we're talking about. Guys in foreign, end? Yeah, they're in foreign, yeah. And let me see. We've got two more. Sending happy early 50th birthday to loving mom and wife, Pramati, a.k.a. Prima. This is coming from her husband, Indar, and two daughters, Emily and Ambika. Her birthday is the 6th of April. All right, so she'll celebrate her birthday tomorrow, tomorrow. but happy birthday to going, going out to Primati, a.k.a. Prima. All right, nice man. And finally, you know, finally, the rock has come back. You know, if you're a wrestling fan, you know about that. All right, so finally, um, hope all is well. Would you please wish my wife, as part of the birthday segment tomorrow, happy birthday. All right, so here we go. Happy, they send this like a real document, boy. Like yeah. A, yeah. Happy birthday to my lovely wife, Ruti Narain. All right. We didn't get a picture for Ruti? All right. For Ruti Narain, um, she will be celebrating her birthday on Sunday, the 7th of April. And, and I'm reading what your husband say, saying here. Dear wife, wow. I pray that your birthday be filled with happiness. 
have a great birthday. Everyone at home wishing you wealth, good health, joy and happiness on your day. Have a wonderful happy birthday dear Ruti Narayan. May your special day be as special as you are. You are wonderful and beautiful. Aye, aye, aye. From your husband Sham Narayan and children Risha and Varendra Narayan. Love all the time. Aye, aye, You're done. Aye. All right. <laughs> um, uh, also, people are uh, the the Sills Farmers Market, and, uh, and I guess you could find Chef there. Chef is frequent. Often, yeah, he frequents the Sills Farmers Market. My uh, they're delivering uh, what appears to be twenty dollar April because sweet potatoes four pounds to twenty dollars, yams three pounds to twenty dollars, dashin three pounds to twenty dollars, cassava three pounds. Guess how much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Uh, twenty dollars. That's right. right. Um, sweet peppers, two pounds to twenty dollars. Green fig, five pounds to twenty dollars. Karaili, three pounds for twenty dollars. Yes, twenty dollars, chef. You know the thing. Um, plantains, three pounds to twenty dollars. Pineapple tree for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, yeah. That's true. Watermelon. Um, you're getting watermelon. You're getting pimentos. A hundred for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. That's right. Oh, you know that, chef. Don't make sure. But but you're working in the market. I just all right. Um, so make sure and give them a call and you can pre-order or you could get it delivered. Um, 3203150, 3203150, that is the Sills Farmers Market. Make sure check them out and they are located on the Docks Compound, Walker Street, Karani. Look for the big sign, which you're seeing right there. Right. That sign is not on sale for $20, <laughs> but all the other products are. All right, so I'll tell you what, people. Um, there was a situation where the police and training driver highlighted. And uh, let's run that now and we'll take some calls. Or they take the scene. What are doing with this vehicle on the highway? You know, eventually, what do you think these police officers are doing with this vehicle on the highway? You know, eventually, I feel the police will shoot and kill me and say I shot at them first. But let's go into the video. At least two people, and I say at least because I'm only hearing two voices. At least two people are in a vehicle on the highway. Wait. Look at this police car on the right hand side here and tell me if you know what a police car is trying to do. Look at it. Look at it. Everybody is driving on the highway. Tell me if you are seeing what a police car is trying to do. Make a guess. Apparently, he was trying to merge into the left lane. He didn't get to merge into the left lane because he have no blue lights on, he have no siren on, he have no indicator on, nothing. People are supposed to read his mind. And because he didn't get to merge, he went to the back, fly down the shoulder. Look at him appearing on the left hand side of the screen anytime now. So he's now on the shoulder alongside the car, trying to get the car to pull aside. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What phone? Why are you doing? What the phone? He's going up for Eventually, they got the vehicle to stop, and this is the interaction. Tell me if these police are not losing their mind. Listen to this. It had no indicator and if you could better come across. When I see a police vehicle on the road or any emergency vehicle, where are you supposed to be sir? I mean, when I see, if I see a police vehicle on the road, a vehicle on the road, it had no lights or nothing. I mean, what I'm supposed to do? Did you answer any question I asked? Yeah, but I asked him, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It had no lights. It had no lights. You have to have a light. You have to have a light. You have to have a emergency vehicle. You're supposed to get that vehicle room. That's all. Get that vehicle away. Officer, he had no light to indicate he was going left. Then you have to give me away. But how are you supposed to know where you're going if you're in the other lane? I don't know if you're coming across. Well, you ain't see that we're going from bad to worse regarding the police force in this country, by you ain't seeing that, by It's like these officers are smoking cocaine while they're on duty or something, and it's impairing their better judgment. So, no indicator, no blue lights, no siren, nothing. The man's supposed to just guess you trying to come across the left lane. And because he didn't guess and read your mind like a woman's supposed to do, you stuck him on the highway. Or you see something wrong, by to the best of my knowledge, when you see a police, an ambulance, a fire truck, or any other emergency vehicle with their sirens on and lights flashing, you pull aside and you give them room. When they are just there, but you see, you see, we wouldn't have this blasted problem if the dinosaurs that are in charge 
follow the rest of the world whereby the police vehicle lights remain off until they have to stop you or they are going on a response sense but in Trinidad, every time you see them the lights on for no reason none you don't know if they're stopping you because they're behind you you don't know if they're going on a response nothing in the rest of the blasted world you are driving a police vehicle pulls up behind you with its lights on you know yeah but you do something wrong pull aside over here you just don't know you just don't know you the light is on for no reason the criminals seeing them from half my long road like a hey, police coming. Like, hold up, he's up, he's up, he's up, he's up. Don't kill the woman here, don't kill the shit, don't kill the shit. All right, now go on now. Po, po, po. How is this not blasted sense? And when you call these people dinosaurs, they don't say, oh, yeah, you're offensive, you're disrespectful, you have no respect for the office. I respect the office. I just don't respect the office holders. Everything these fools do is counterintuitive. And it's not clever counterintuitive like, ah, the bandits would expect that. It's counterintuitive to be counterproductive. That does the whole purpose of it. So it's not a point where you see a police vehicle, you don't know what it is when the sirens on, sirens off, lights on, lights off, you just don't know. And because you don't know, they jump out to intimidate you. Right now, transit police seem to be recruiting. And everybody and their mother, sister, dog, and their aunt want to go and become transit police. Not because they want to make the road a safer place, because they want to walk. That's why they want to walk. I'm telling you all, they want to walk, so they go in transit police. You can see the elements we're going to get in transit police whenever they recruit all these people on them. I don't know what changed, but things wasn't like this a few years ago. It just wasn't. Sometime around 2019 come up, like the police service got new directives. Like they got a new mission statement. And I'm not the only one realizing that. I'm just the only one talking about it. What do you think? Interested, eh? 235525. The policeman say, when you see a police vehicle on the road, what are you supposed to do? Well, boy, morning. <laughs> yeah, but Stephen, there's three simple answers to that question to the whole police service. Fitzgerald Hines, Ola Christopher, and to cap it off, Keith Rowley. And All then right. you would understand the police service and Trader and Tobago, why we in this condition. Concerning the money, right? Uh -huh. We had to understand Colin him Burton. You know, why he don't trust nothing in this country. Mm -hmm. When he was born, the parents tell him that oh, he will be playing in the NBA. Up to now, he's still three feet tall and waiting to be drafted. Enjoy the weekend and have a good morning, Stephen. Take care, man. Yeah. Hey, two three five five two two five two three five five two two five. Um, hello, morning. Morning, Stephen. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Concerning the to call abusive mother as a child. Yes. I recall at some point in time there was a government that was offering baby brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picking up ladies like that, too frustrated. Yeah, but that was a, apparently that was a bad thing. People didn't want that. Giving them skills, giving them jobs, giving them money, mm -hmm. food, cat, housing them and rehabilitating them yeah. because of the the report and the Jones report, which which was the, the better way to prevent children from getting into the hands of those homes and what happens in those homes, it's always better to rehabilitate the mother. But for some reason or the other, that was taken away. <laughs> and the kids had early childhood centers and they would go and get meals and mm -hmm. they would be fed and they would get education. And kids with severe palsy would be the mother was allowed to stay home while yeah. to, take, to take care of the child. I, I do know we were we, 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 we fell from heaven into hell. <laughs> well, apparently all those things that you mentioned that we, we, we used to get um, were bad things. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently, apparently. People didn't want it. It was too bad. Baby Grant oh. and all, them, all the, the support programs that you now mentioned. I mean, all of that was bad. That was bad. My apologies to the public and your yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so man. Now, these, these police and them, uh -huh. they've been doing that all through the island. And to add insult to injury, they weren't even wearing uniforms. So yeah, they were yeah, plain clothes, yeah. How were the people supposed to know that those were actual police and not in a makeup vehicle that they bought in an auction and, and, and bring back out? Or some kind of... <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. No, because when the police auction the vehicle, they disconnect all the sirens and stuff, you know. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know what that. You... I didn't know that. All right. Yeah. So these fellas could have been a makeup crew. Look at them. 
All right. All right, cool. Yeah, man, cool. Two, three, five, five, two, two, five, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. If you say, can I be a makeup crew? Yes. Morning. Hello, morning. Next caller. Two, three, five, five, two, two, five. We are typed away. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. And this is a perfect example of what happens when you don't know your rights. Morning. Yeah, morning. Morning, sir. Yeah, man. Um, pertaining to the, the security things on the money, mm -hmm. I need security in my area. I don't need my money to be protected. I want security. They're securing the money, but they're securing you. So, so my money, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? I need to see some patrols. I need some street lights. I need water a whole week, a whole month. You understand what I'm saying? The meter, you understand? I don't know how much it's costing. Because every time they come out of bright ideas, it costs us money. How much it costs them? Yeah, I don't know about money. It costs them. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's something we had to fight out because I don't think they put the statement, they didn't put the cost I, in I, here. I'm still trying to figure out. People don't understand. They're supposed to do what we tell them. They're doing what they, what they yeah. want. Mm -hmm. If we don't, if, you know, put access and, access and things in place five years, a little less than five years ago. Yeah. And they're going to, so how much it costs then? Okay. Exactly. And how much it's going to cost now? No. Yeah. Because five years on the road, everything has gone up. Yeah. They should put, um, they should change up the police service. It's, it's to protect and serve. They should change it up a little bit. To harass, to collect tax, and, and boost. Because I had a policeman last week, we'll be fine if I mention it. 25,000, 45 minutes in a 25,000. He both, he district. Twenty-five thousand dollars in tickets in forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. It have places that you feel to, re to understand that taxis don't work at a certain time, so the pH take over. But the police have a problem with the pH. So how do you, how do you travel in public reaching home? Yeah, that's another that's another problem that 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 is age old. That no solutions have come. Everything just running on on, on because of the security. Everything is running. You know? A taxi driver not working after six in certain areas, they're not yeah. working after yeah, five yeah. in certain areas because yeah. of the security. security. Yeah, they, they're not so feeling safe. You can tell Heinz that for me, please? All right, no problem. Take care. Yeah, man. Two, three, five, five, three, two, five. But this is what happens when you don't know your rights, eh? When police pull up on you. Yeah. Because you'll be trying to tell you, fella, what we're supposed to do when you see a police vehicle, but the man no. Uh, well, you ain't put no indicator, you ain't have no lights, no siren and on. What's supposed to do? Sure. You tell me now. You understand what I'm saying? Morning. Morning. Yeah, man. You know the, this is why I had to send the police for retraining. They know the job. They know how, how, how the power that they have and what power they don't have. Yeah. So they, they come out and they're abusing people all over the place and they, they're not doing their jobs. Mm. He he, he ain't fixed that anyway. Anyway. But of the subject, yeah. chef, I need chef to come there every Friday. Somehow, chef, are you happy? Oh, uh -huh. chef! Chef, the caller said he needed to, he needed to come here every Friday because somehow I'd be happy on a Friday when you're here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can work on that. Yeah. We can work on that. Yes, Step, Stefan, understand that. where happiness begins in your stomach. It is a uh, happiness. Yeah. Uh, a hungry yeah. man is a hungry man, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend too, man. Yeah, yeah that's that. Nice good vibes, man. Um, two, three, five, five, three, two, five. We, we, have, we have two more minutes, we can take some calls and, and we'll close the break. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Stefan. Yeah, man, go ahead. To, will I have to teach these people manners and ethics and, and how to live? Uh -huh. This is police brutality. This officer should be charged mm -hmm. for, for abuse in public Tell office. This, police in this is a charge that Listen he's this. supposed to face as, mm -hmm. as a police officer. Right? Yeah. I mean, and he should throw prison time too because he's, he's so... He can't run on about it. Look at the belly that man has. Right? No, but, but, you know, as you mentioned that caller, it, the interesting thing is, right, if he, if he as a police officer could pull up on a citizen for something like this, where he, he and he wrong, could you imagine <laughs> in other instances yeah. of a particular nature yeah. what he's capable of doing? Sure. Yes, I'm going to tell you this much. He's probably one of the... Corrupt one of the oh, well, one in ninety nine that is corrupt in the police service. But well, right? I mean, we 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 could we could presume that based on 
the, his, his, the way that he has reacted in this situation because I mean I would I, I mean I'm, I, I would be fear in my thinking if I if I believe so as well as you would you not yes I, I, yeah, would I think be, so I because I would think this man is a bandit mm. get a police vehicle in an auction and he comments because that's what they do right. that is exactly what they do and if I had if I had a, was a like so I'm older I would I don't care what it is because you stop me as a criminal mm. it could be anything because they had no light no siren no nothing yeah right you stop in a, you po stop in a police a, a personnel suppose it was a police officer now yeah a senior police officer what what he would have done and he would have charged him yeah he would have yeah possibly yeah if yeah. the guy didn't know his rights if he really thought that because he went through three or two or three different instances with the man. He said, Where are you doing on the phone? The man said, I wasn't on the phone. So when he realized he couldn't win the argument now, yeah. the next argument was, So you see, when trying to cross, coming to, the, to merge into the lane, the man said, Well, you didn't have an indicator. He know you're going to lose the argument. Yeah. So when he, when he know you're going to lose the argument, the next argument is, what, So what are you supposed to do when you see a police vehicle? <laughs> look, let's look at the, in, in retrospect, the, the regiment guy that, that bombed the, the, the kids' van. Yes. These guys just live in point and they just drive recklessly because they, some of them have regiment plates on them, CTR. And they just drive recklessly coming on the road. They have they don't match brakes. And and uh, the... Yeah, and Paula, I'm still trying to understand. I understand what Pitt told me on Wednesday that even though he was released doesn't mean he wouldn't be charged. But that is manslaughter. That is that is manslaughter is right. He's supposed to be charged. But exactly. Because he was a little rank in the police and in the, in the regiment, mm -hmm. right? They have batched dirty with each other. Yeah. Right? Right? And that is wrong. There's yeah. a law that should be for everybody in this country, not for, yeah. the, not for the unprivileged or the people who can't afford a lawyer. It should be for everybody. And for everybody. Where Trinidad and Tobago politicians have lost such yeah. people. I agree with you. Right? Have a wonderful weekend. You too, man. Yeah, just going back to the to the regiment officer, the kiss van. Right? Thanks a lot. That's if the, the last call. We've got to wrap things up. He bongs the man from behind. The man ran off the road with the kiss van. Died. Hmm. He kept on driving him. Sure. No, no, think about that for a second, yeah? Hello? It's not that he's just another driver on the road, but he's part of the protective services. You have just hit somebody from behind causing them to run off the road. Your first reaction should be to render aid. So. Because you, you're part of the regiment, you're part of the defense force. That's one of the qualities you're supposed yeah. to have in you. Yeah. But you kept on driving. And it's only when they find your vehicle in Presal, according to the reports, that you decide to surrender to the police. And he get released. The mere fact that you are part of the regiment, yeah. you should have stopped and rendered aid. The mere fact that you didn't is a serious offense. I see, like, oh, let's still flash any call, light, but like, oh, let's take our next call. Morning. So, you saw this trap, man? They, 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 they purposely push for our next call for me to go over the time. Hey, morning. Hi, hey, morning, morning. Yeah. yeah um, we got in, I, didn't, I didn't get the entire video. Um, with regard to uh, the police pulling across the, um, mm -hmm. the, the car there, did they identify themselves as officers at the recording and did they legally pull him aside? Because they, when they're pulling aside somebody, they turn on their lights and identify a vehicle as a, as a police vehicle. No, they didn't do that. T -t -t from oh. what I saw in the video, no. Oh, okay. no. Look, even here on the side, he's trying to flag down the man by putting down the driver's side. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't hear that siren. Exactly. Usually, yeah. and that's what police like to do. They like to put on the siren, so they will obviously have um, mm -hmm. put on the siren to identify that they look at an emergency vehicle flag and you don't pull your side. Correct. Isn't that correct? Correct, 100%. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, man. So I, I think they have a case there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's my case there. Yeah, man. And I you see, that. this is the thing. What about the body cams? Uh, Where are these body cams? If the man didn't have a dashboard camera in his vehicle, we would not never see this footage. Sure. You know that, right? If he didn't have a dashboard camera recording this, we would have never know what went on. 
Well, he might have. He not challenge it because he's a man. He seem like he know what going on. But to the police, you can't operate so. Yeah. Basic driving protocol tells you that if you are changing a lane, you must signal. Right? Now you have hand signals that they're still teaching people in school, in the driving school. Yeah. How many people are driving the window down in Trinidad? Mm. I don't know. Everybody seems to be AC'd up. Yeah. Right? Um, besides taxi drivers, you don't really see the average driver on the road using hand signals. Very very uh, turning right, turning left. That's a long time thing. Yeah. Right? Indicator. It has no indicator on there. The whole world could see that. You have not indicated that you are coming left. The man can't read your mind. And if I was a guy, I would have probably do the same thing. Yeah. You know why? Quite a simple. I'm telling you, you driving like you were cause an accident, so look, let me pass you and go. Eh? You understand? I would have probably do the same thing. You dig? You have no lights on, no siren on. No indicator on, and then when you look to pull over the man, you still didn't use your siren, you still didn't put on your lights, you put on your driver window and trying to flag down the man. So, who is that? <laughs> who does that? Who does that? Oh, and then the caller is right. When you walk up to the driver side, when you walk up to the driver of the vehicle, you never identify yourself as yeah. good afternoon, sir, constable, so and so, badge number, wherever, wherever, wherever. And then get into the conversation. You don't identify yourself as a police officer, not, not at all. And the way thing going, we know that yeah. it's a man dressed up like police that point, not walk these sure. days. You understand what I'm saying? But that is just bad. What did the caller said? It's abuse of power and it's misbehavior too. Because really and truly, you just stop a man to harass and intimidate him. That is all you, that is all you really do. That, you could have, you could have said, look, and keep going about your business. But you intend that you had to stop that man to try and embarrass in, or intimidate him. You understand? Or, you know, abuse. Yeah. And that, that is the whole purpose of this stuff. All right, fellas, we wrapping up or, we, or, or what are you doing? <laughs> uh huh. But see, let's squeeze you one more call for me to go over 8 o'clock so now I can talk about that whole weekend. All right, so I'll tell you what. We gotta wrap things up for this week. <laughs> the crep, yeah. it was prepping. It was prepping good. All right, nice <laughs> one. Um, so, chef, we wanna thank you for coming through this Friday. Yeah, um, go ahead and. Um, yeah. well, thanks again. I, I wanna say good morning to all the kids in the kids cooking classes. Yeah, nice yeah, bunch man. of kids, man. Today is the final little wrap up today, and good morning to the parents and the grandparents who support and watch the program religiously. I heard. So good morning nice to you guys. Man. Sign up for the certificate in culinary art. Sign up for the creative international cuisine. There's a lot of opportunities. We have students right now with us who are already working in the field. Okay. We have students know. already working and doing the stuff already. Some Great. who came in and want to do business, some already doing business already. So it's an investment in all our programs and there's payment plan. Sign up, sign up, sign up. All right, man. So we're going to wrap things up Monday. We'll be back again. Um, boy, that, that speech by that El Salvador president, boy, it should me to play that, you know. Just take that 23 minutes and play that, you know, boy. I'm going to make up my mind what I'm doing. We'll see how the weekend goes. Yeah. But I'm telling all you, if all you hear what that man say, mm -hmm. all you going to be able to relate it, boy. <laughs> the man yeah. talk like a leader, boy. Right. I, know I know what I'm telling you, you know. That's we lack him. He talk like a, that is leader. Yeah. Yeah. These guys, the, yeah, boy. I'm telling you. The way that I want, the man inspire me and all. Right? Um, as we go this Friday, we want to remind people, don't forget, get yourself registered for Run Stefan Run. You can do so online at TrinbegoEvents.com. If you have any problems registering online, just call 482-5531. 482-5531. If you are interested in getting a tent and promoting your business or your product, um, all you need to do is call 730-2588 That is 730-2588 And um, any other inquiries um, You can call 759-8504 That is 759-8504 
You have three numbers to call. Be ready to go. I well, I ain't ready yet. But I, I ain't ready to you know. I don't beat Barack Obama here. <laughs> but I ain't ready yet. But we build anything. Part proceeds go to the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago. We look forward to seeing you all come out and support this in your numbers. All right, in your numbers. And then after that, well, hopefully by then, the Ministry of Finance will have responded uh, to my Freedom of Information Act request on property tax. Yeah. So, <laughs> it might be wrong. <laughs> Ron, is wrong, Stefan, wrong, but after that. <laughs> because I waited to see that response, eh? But we look forward to you guys coming out and supporting the cause. Remember, one lucky person will win a trip for two to Grenada, three nights, four days. Make sure to get yourself registered. And to all, to all the Manchester United fans in Trinidad and Tobago, RIP this Sunday. <laughs> Coming from a diehard Liverpool supporter. <laughs> RIP. All right? Because all I need to do is just keep winning and I win the league this year. All right? At two points clear at the top and oh, is it lonely. Ah, yeah, all right? Yeah. It's lonely at the top sometimes right, in the right. It gets lonely. Right. But nice to the Man U fans who were disappointed, bitterly disappointed yesterday after losing to Chelsea 4 3. <laughs> My condolences. I do apologize for the abusive manner in which we're going to deal with earlier on Sunday. All right? They might, have, they might have to lock us up for domestic violence. It's going to be a beating. It's going to be a beating like they've never gotten before. Duvon Stewart. Duvon. I want you to switch off your TV on Sunday. Gary Griffith and El Roberts brand big. All you don't put on no TV. All you don't go to watch no game. All you go and do something else. All you go be bitterly disappointed, you know. And no one telling all in. All right. See you all on Monday. And hopefully I'll be in a great mood on Monday after Liverpool beat United on, on Sunday. All right. Have a great weekend, people. We're gone. Forget about bucket lists. We want to know what's on your best life list. Vacation. Education. Renovation. Celebration. Live your best life with Island Finance. Visit a branch near you or islandfinancetrinidad.com and live your best life now. You can depend on Island Finance. Subject to credit approval and documents verification. For something as uniquely crafted as your eyes, you should have lenses made with the most care and precision. At Adams Optical, our mission is to deliver optimal eye care. Our three branches are conveniently located in Rio Claro, San Fernando, and Chagones. Come in today for a free comprehensive eye exam. We have full single vision or bifocal glasses from just $5.95. Adams Optical, we care for your eyes. Adams Optical. Jazz and wine, or is it? Beyond Jazz and Wine. Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Set a stage. The Queen Amongst the Kings. Powerhouse vocalist, Mauricia Kagan. Saxophone specialist, Malcolm Boyce. Versatile and captivating, Sigu Rankin. Panist extraordinaire, Dane Galston. With his band, Live Sweet Bread. And the chosen one, Ja Melody. Will get you off your seats. This event is definitely beyond. Jazz and Wine. Experience this musical journey at the enchanting outdoor garden theater at Queen's Hall. Transform into an oasis fit for kings and queens. Sunday, May 5th, 4 p.m. Limited early bird tickets available at Java Nation, Queen's Park East and online at islandetickets.com or call 737-2373. Jazz and Wine. Experience the sweetness over and over again. Morelli, Morelli, Morelli. 
Join Open Minds Education, where education is so much more. It's about friends, family and relationships, and a lifetime of learning, where they work hard and play hard. Open Minds is 100% online and private for students from preschool to Form 5. They offer CSEC subjects and a world of non-academic life skill experiences. At Open Minds, students are heard, parents are involved, and the teachers are passionate. Register today at www.openminds.education. Call or WhatsApp 388-6635 or 377-6635. Open Minds, because education is so much more. If you're planning an event, make us your first option. At Reality of a Dream, we can make your event memorable. We can assist in planning your corporate functions, moderate gatherings, family occasions, christenings, and more. We also cater for weddings and other special occasions. Our newly renovated venue includes a majestic entryway, which takes you along a path to a fantastic indoor facility, which can accommodate up to 80 dining guests. A recently completed, fully air-conditioned, beautifully designed wing, which maintains the theme and flow of reality of a dream, adds 30 extra seats for dining guests. In total, we can now seat a total of 110 dining guests. Come see for yourself the splendor that awaits you. Walk along the path and make your way to the breathtaking, well-maintained swimming pool and gazebo, and also the entire grounds of Reality of a Dream. We've also updated the Dream Suite, which comes with all modern conveniences, where guests can enjoy the feeling of an exquisite retreat overlooking the entire area. Reality of a Dream caters to professional events. We provide secure parking for guests, so call us at 332-6880 and ask for Harriet. Located at number 15 Moses Avenue, San Juan. Reality of a dream. Making dreams come true every day. Air conditioning problems? Then look no further. A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an easy solution for all your automotive, commercial, and domestic air conditioning needs. With two convenient locations to serve you, A and K Air Conditioning Supplies offers you an extensive range of parts and services, including pressure test kits, refrigerator sports, front and rear evaporators for maxi taxis. They also cater for both foreign and local automobile models like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, and more. So pay them a visit today at either of their two locations. Number 36 Alfonso Street, San Grande. Phone 784-2707 or 386-5700. And number 133 Corner Rolling Street at Bonaventure Main Road, Gasparillo. Phone 312-2245 or 782-9720. 